I saw the, the discourse. I saw the discourse about the time loop with Gary Kasparov. I am personally, I am a believer. The question was, that's a good point. We should buy this. The question was, let's assume some joker stuck you in a time loop, okay? And the only way to get out of the time loop, you, it's Groundhog Day, you live the same day every day. The only way to get out of the time loop is to beat Gary Kasparov in a game of chess. You have no study materials. You can only learn from the game, but you remember every, like you remember the events that have happened when you wake up. Gary Kasparov does not. How long does it take you to beat Gary Kasparov in a game of chess? I might be glazing Gary Kasparov a little bit. Me personally, I would say, don't forget yours. you're here forever. He lost to a computer. Well, that is true. He did lose to a computer, but he, oh. <laughs> he also beat a computer once. I'm a believer that if you're an average chess player, you'll be there forever. If, if right now you're like sub 1000 ELO, maybe forever is not the right word, but I would say you would probably reach the point of frustration where you would just wake up in the morning, jump off the roof of like your hotel and then wake up in bed again. And you would probably do that. Like you would rather do that than lose in chess again to the goat. Why is the objective to escape though? I gotta give you a little piece of advice. When somebody poses a hypothetical to you that involves something that's obviously not possible, you just answer the question because the question is posed to reveal something about your personality. It's not, not, not conversation is not like an escape room. You know, it's not like I'm gonna beat this person in conversation. Let's talk about it. two weeks. No, you're crazy. You lose. Next question. You, I should have known from the first thing you said, but the second thing you said means you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I play the same moves every day and memorize Gary's responses. You, it would probably still take, if I had to guess, it would take you 100 years. That's not even back of the napkin calculation. There's literally no calculation involved whatsoever. That might be your best way to get there, but it would probably take you 100 years. No way you can flowchart the moves. Brother, because here's the thing, you think, oh, the chess game is only like 50 moves long. But just because you learned his move doesn't mean you know what to do against it. Gary Kasparov can probably come up with like eight better moves for every single move on a chessboard than you can. So, you, you, I mean, you're getting to the point where it's like, you know, eight to the power of 500 or so, or 50 to the power of eight. Like, you're getting up, and then you still got to beat him. How would you handle this hypothetical? I guess I would just uh, fucking embrace oblivion. Like I would just, I would, the first thing I would do is tell myself there's no rush. <laughs> You're gonna be here for quite some time. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Honestly, all the people saying like, I only have to win once. Gary has to win every time. There was a kid I went to middle school with who told me like his dream in life was to run as fast as the speed of light. And everybody was like, that's not possible. And he was like, if you believe in it, it's possible. <laughs> and I'm like, you listen, I guess like he could have like a medical emergency or something. <laughs> but. Otherwise, I, you're, you're cooked, man. Like, you're... Gary Kasparov, he's good at chess. Haters will say it's fake. Is that kid's name? Yeah, Barry something. Would it be better to practice playing against him or practice cheating? Again, I'm not going to let you weasel out of this. See, the next time somebody tries to weasel out of one of these hypotheticals IRL... I'm gonna to reply to them with concern trolling and it's gonna get a same type attack bonus. I'm gonna say, bro, why are you trying to weasel out of the hypothetical? Is everything okay at home? They're not gonna know how to answer. And it's, I mean, how would you answer? I guess is what I'm trying to say.